if yes, you can drop a message on chat or anything. Anyone can confirm. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let me share my screen. Let me know if you guys can see it. Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, let me know if you guys can see. Are you guys able to see my screen? Perfect. Okay. So in today's demo class, we'll be trying to cover certain topics. I'll just let you know what I'm trying to cover here today. Nothing fancy, just trying to help you understand what exactly uh, this course is all about. Also helping you understand a few of the concepts. Uh, let me just initiate a new page and let you help you tell that what exactly we are trying to do. Uh, so a few of the things which we are going to cover today are uh, what is software, okay? Uh, how development is done? What is BPM? What is low code and the tool the tool you will learn in the course okay these are the topics we are going to cover so let's start here what is software uh, so uh, if you see in our day-to-day -day lives uh, like uh, around like 20 years before to perform a bank transaction you had to literally go to a bank and perform the transaction you had to literally go stand in line and get uh, to do any transaction for example if you had to add some money to your account you had to stand in line write a challenge and add that same way was same if you have to withdraw also you have to do that but why, why why were we doing this because there was no digitization or there was no modernization what do we mean by that is for example after we digitized or modernized what happened was for bank transactions let us say for bank transaction could be debit or credit 20 years before we had to do we had to go stand in line and perform that but now later we digitized that in the sense we created applications which help us do these transactions yes or no we did create application for example if i'm using hdfc i do have hdfc application using which i can send money receive money to any bank i can do a third party neft right you can do any of these and i can do it how can how can i do it because of software there is a software for that there is a app for every bank today right every bank has a software do we agree yes or no yes no right okay perfect so we agree that there is software for everything but how is the software built right how is the software built software is built like every software for example your your bank software application has a ui right you have it has a user interface what is ui ui is nothing but user interface what is user interface it's nothing but presentation layer right every you every application has a presentation layer in the sense don't you see when you try to go into hdfc application you see something right whatever you see is nothing but user interface that is nothing but user interface every application every software application will have a user interface right be it uh, your bank application be it uber be it ola be it zomato all have a user interface right these user interfaces need to be built somehow for example if i open uh, ola.com 
So this takes me to Ola Caps application website. Whatever I am seeing here is my user interface, right? Or Uber, for example. What I am seeing here is my user interface. For example, I can request a ride and do stuff like that. But this is being built by someone. How do we know this is being built by someone? If I right click and see view page source, it shows me a lot of stuff like, you know, something which I don't understand. This is the code using which they have built this presentation. Yes or no? Right? This is the code. And what does this code have? If you see, there is something called a script, HTML stuff like that so these are languages they are using to build this in the sense every ui user interface every applications user interface needs some languages to build it for example html javascript and react angular these are necessary to build a user interface do we understand what is a user interface now every software has a user interface and this is nothing. Whatever you are seeing here is user interface. This is also called as a presentation layer. Why? This is being presented to the user. That's why it is being called as presentation layer. Facebook has a presentation layer, right? In the same way, uh, Zomato has a presentation layer. See, when I come here to Zomato, they have a presentation layer. This is nothing but user interface. This is a, some, one developer has built this, right? Some, some developers have got together and they have built this particular user interface. Do you guys understand what is user interface now? Yes, no? Perfect. So the next piece is business logic. In this applications, when you do, when I go to Uber and I click on request ride, it books one a ride for me. How does that happen? Someone has to tell that logic, right? Someone has to do that logic in the same way. For example, if I go on Zomato and I try to add a couple of burgers, the, the, the card gets updated by the count. For example, the card gets updated with two and then the total also changes. How does that happen? That is nothing but business logic. It is a business. There is a logic. Someone is writing that logic. What, what do you mean by logic? Like adding two numbers, adding two bur burgers is a logic for example you have to add that uh, the amount and you have to change the amount in your cart if you see if you go to amazon and if you try to add uh, uh, if you purchase something you will see that the cart value keeps changing if you if you increase the uh, number of uh, comp uh, products you are buying the total the total keeps changing it's way it's varying and if you remove something it again comes down cut cut short by something that is nothing but a business logic someone has written that business logic can be written in languages like java C, C++, and uh, there are others also, Python. These are the languages you need to know to build business logic. Same thing is true in your banking application also, right? Whenever you try to transfer some fund, the data, the, the amount goes from your account to someone else's account. And you see the, to the total of your, yeah, the, 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 gra the gross total in your account comes down when you transfer some funds. Who is deducting and doing this transaction? that processing that is nothing but business logic which is written in one of these languages which is being done in the system right so for business logic you will need any of these languages in the same way there is something called as persistence layer right this is nothing but data getting saved in database what do we mean by this? For example, when someone gives his contact number to you, what do you do? You save the contact number, right? Don't you save the contact number in your phone? Yes or no? Right? So where does it get saved? It gets saved in your phone memory, right? phone or uh, SSD memory like SD card memory or phone memory somewhere it gets saved in the same way when you try to order something on Amazon for example order uh, Amazon 
ऑर्डर और फ्लिपकार्ट ऑर्डर और जोमेटो ऑर्डर और योर ट्रांजेक्शन्स ऑन फोन पे फोन पे गूगल पे all these when you after you do the transaction and you later point for example after two days when you go and see don't you see those transactions yes or no yes or no do you guys see those transactions those transactions have to be saved somewhere right is saved somewhere for you to be able to see it later it has to be saved somewhere it's as simple as for example if you are taking a class and uh, if you take down the notes you can go back and refer to it right only if you take it down somewhere in the same way when you are trying to do some event for example sending money from one account to other account if you want to say, see where who you sent it to after a later point of time you have to note it somewhere that is nothing but saving that particular event or the transaction on to some memory in phones we do it on phone memory in your applications you do it on a database you do it on a database what is database database is something which will hold data like the name tells it's a base for data where you will save some data so any software application will have a user interface a business logic and a persistence layer where the data gets saved why do i need user interface user interface is for me to be able to see what exactly the application is supposed to do for example if i have to book a ride on uber i need to be able to have a interface where i can go and book it that is nothing but this same thing is true for booking food right to book food i need some user interface i will go to zomato i have a interface here using which i can book and then if i have to perform some transaction there for example if i need one burger one fry and one dosa i will have to order that and i want the total also to reflect the gross total of how much it is who is going to do that that is nothing but business logic which has to be written someone has to do that right either when you go to a store the guy explicitly calculates it he calc he stands there and he calculates okay you have taken this 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 okay this is the total he tells that but in software application you can't have one person sit there and do all that so what do you do you you make use of these languages to build that logic does it make sense yes no okay perfect perfect same thing is true for persistence once you have done these transactions what does a guy do for example when you go and if you try to book a take a medicine from a medicine shop usually what they do these days is after you they take your medicine they write it down why because they have to order that again to refill that inventory they take it down they write it down why they want to persist that data so they can refer to it and refill that inventory later don't they do that yes no haven't you seen right the in, but the application well, what is the point of having application application is smart enough to save that data there is something called as a database which will save all this information when you go into amazon you can see all your previous orders did you ever tell amazon to store that no but by default they are doing it for you why because that is something a user will need he wants to see what he ordered last time so that he can reorder or he wants to see what he had ordered if it is not good he doesn't want to order that he will go and verify that or if he wants to match the transaction between his amazon orders and his bank transaction he want to see where the money got deducted he can compare that don't you think we can make use of data this way to compare and make our lives easier yes no perfect so but do you understand to do all this you need to have understanding of these languages to build user interface these languages to build business logic and database understanding to save into persistence layer for one person to have all this it is not easy do we agree right perfect so our understanding is for someone to build a software application we need to know all these things this is a traditional way of building application the traditional way of building application is you need to hire a, a ui developers few ui developers few people who know java or these these languages and few people who can handle databases if you go and see if you see java developer you will see so many 
openings see java developer jobs who are these these guys are the ones who will be writing your business logic in the same way if i type angular developer jobs see these are the guys who will be doing your ui development for user interface development in the same way if i say database developer jobs see these are the guys who will be doing your database development so individually everyone one should hire all these guys to build that application and you know all they all these people have to coordinate together to build any such application which is a very challenging task and it is very time consuming this is nothing but this is traditional development in traditional development these things are done this is how development is done for my next question how is development done you have to coordinate with all these guys with the ui developer with ui developer comma backend or business logic developer and database developer they all should work in work together okay to build a application this is traditional development this is nothing but this is traditional development this is traditional development and to do this one should learn all these languages can one person learn all these three all these three stuff together and build is it easy for him no no right not everyone is interested in learning all these languages and these languages change every day so you have to make yourself updated on all these languages all these languages you should keep yourself updated you should keep yourself updated are you understanding perfect perfect no problem so uh, everyone has had amrut gobi in uh, mysore like i am i believe you all are from mysore amrut gobi heard of it yes but do you see the queue how big the queue is at his place always when you see it will be very high so many people so many people uh, uh, gathering there so what do you do at that gobi center literally what you do is uh, place an order right place an order right you go to place order you confirm your order like you confirm your order right you do payment and you deliver it get it delivered right is it not what we do there yes no but if you see today it is a manual process manually you should go there stand there like you know someone will be like no i was ahead of you he was ahead of you we keep fighting the people fight there also because they want to get it first why because they don't have a digitization digitized process in that right they don't have a process there they don't have a application or something which will give them token system or anything like that so they have pure manual process right amrut gobi is running on pure manual process right do you agree purely manual it's not automated there is no automation done there is no automation do we agree no automation no digitization no modernization right it's it's not there everyone has to go and stand there in queue and get the get this thing done so can i tell selling gobi is business and the, the process is nothing but the way in which you get 
your order like you place a order stand there and get it done is process and uh, that is being managed by them they are managing it right bring it do we understand that this is there is a process there which needs improvement do we agree to that their process needs some improvement right you can't have so many people blocking the road and looking for their orders what they have to do is they have to streamline that process this particular piece if they put it on an application people can order beforehand for example before i come to that place i can order it and then come and i can pick it up yes that way you can implement that right before the uh, the uh, the customer even comes to their place he can place an order and they can uh, do it but to do this in traditional development you will have to have a user interface you need to write business logic right when uh, user when a user orders what has to be done and stuff like that in the same way you also have to save that tomorrow when they say you didn't return me proper uh, i my order was for this many and you gave me very less you can go back to that order if you have saved that you can go back to that and show but in traditional development it will be very challenging task because someone has to know all these three languages to do it there comes do we understand what is business process management here guys do we understand the gobi business there is a process there and they are managing it do we agree to that at least yes no right perfect so the business process management is nothing but you have a business there is a process associated with that business and then you are trying to manage it perfect so now we understood what is bpm what is low code let's i'll try to show you something let's just focus on this particular piece okay place order confirm order payment and delivery okay let's just focus on this just remember this thing what do we do when we go to amrit gobi we order it we confirm the order and then payment and we get it delivered let's try to see i'll just try to show you how exactly we can do it in one of the tools okay uh, let me go back to app studio okay just see don't worry about what i'm trying to do just see it as one of the cases we are trying to implement so the case we are trying to look at is today amrit gobi right amrit gobi is something which you are trying to look at I'm just trying to automate their process. That is one process which I saw. I thought, okay, we can relate to it because it's local to us. We can relate to it and we can try to implement it, right? Just see what I'm trying to do. Just focus on what was the process we saw. We place a order, confirm a order, do payment, and proceed further, right? Just see how challenging this is. Okay, place order. payment delivery perfect perfect i saved it here i will say pick your order okay and then i'll say go be and i'll say Next, I'll say they sell dry, 
and this will wet right you want to have dry copy or wet copy okay and i'll say one more moguls okay again i'll take a pick list i'll say Let's say mm, mix or plain. And I'll say uh, type of delivery. Okay, and then let me choose Boolean. For here or to go. Okay, submit. So these are uh, few fields we might need just see i'll just explain you what we are trying to do here just see how i design this and tell me what exactly you feel okay okay let me save this save and run this okay so what do we see here there is a new amrut gobi request which came in and then it's asking me you know do I want to have dry or wet? Let's say I want to have dry. And I also want to have a noodle which is mix. And then I'll just click on type of delivery create. Do we see one request coming in for me for Amrut Gobi? A hyphen one. Yes, no. Does it also show me like what is the order? The order is about a, a dry gobi. Why the, uh, there is one uh, noodle order and then type of delivery. Let's say he wants to take a to go. So let's say it's to go. Okay, and then it is yes. I can edit this also here. I can call it you know. Edit this one. Okay, let's not go there. That's too detailed. But just try to see. Can we, uh, can't we have such process for them which helps them, you know, to process the orders smooth? Like, you know, even before coming there, you can put this order and then you can perform your payment and then you can keep going. You know, I can complete this stage and then I'll be moving ahead to payment. See, I'm on payment now. I can perform my payment and then once, uh, once you perform the payment, the request will go to them and then they can say like, okay, ready for delivery or whatever, you know. Do you f see anything which about coding here? Did we do coding or anything here to build this thing? Yes, no. Do we understand that the uh, coding has nothing to got nothing to do with building a business process management application? Can we agree? Right? Like literally you didn't do anything. So low code is nothing but this approach. Whenever you see, you know, whenever you see such processes which needs improvement, see the low code is nothing but a platform where coding is not needed to build enterprise application. Amrut, Amrut Gobi is an enterprise and if you are building such sort of a solution to them, is it not an enterprise application? Yes or no? In the same way, when you go to, for example, today if you go to Kaveri Gramina Bank or so many banks are there who are having such manual, lot of such manual processes just to apply for loan. Don't you think for 10 years before, if I had to apply for a loan process, for example, a loan process, process you had to get the application and then you had to you know file that application go back there get some approvals go back there you had to hit the bank 
every day, literally every day to just get a loan application approved. Can't we automate such processes using uh, a low code platform like this? Yes, no. We can do that, right? The tool which we will be studying for, as part of this uh, our course is called as Pega. This tool which you saw here is called as Pega. We will be learning this tool and we will be building more such applications. In the same way, when if there is a new order, uh, the another guy can also come and create a new order, for example, if I have to go back to case types. And then any number of orders can come, right? Any number of orders you can receive. See? Another order I do create. See? I have second order for my Gobi. We need to, what we will be doing is, the best part about this course is we will be implementing real-time applications. Just to, for demo purpose, I am just showing you a man, uh, uh, something which is relevant to us. But when we try to implement, we will be implementing two real-time projects with respect to banking as well as healthcare. And we will be seeing how exactly we can build these applications, you know, from scratch. From scratch, how we can build these applications is something which we will be learning. So, so far, what we understood today, if you see, how what is a software software is nothing something which will be solving a man's you know day to day problem right it could be banking applications could be your food ordering applications could be your travel uber applications and to build those applications you need different technologies like user interface to see a ui you need html javascript react and angular same way to build a business logic you need java c c++ and the same way to build a, the persistence layer you need data understanding of database you know why do we need that? So that tomorrow, you, if you want to go back and see that data, you want to persist that data, you want to save that data, right? And how is this development done? You need to hire a UI developer, business logic developers, database developers, get the requirement, you need a business analyst to get the requirement, and then this is how traditional development is done. However, however, when you try to look at any uh, any process, for example, today we saw it, how, how we can automate Amrut Gobi's manual process to you know, to digitization. Didn't we digitize it here? How much time did we take to digitize their process? Of course, this is not full-fledged, but do you, we get the idea, right? This is the workflow. Is it not a workflow? Is it not a work which, which is getting, which is flowing from one stage to other stage? From placing order, confirming order, to payment, to delivery. Is it not the stages of any task? Yes or no? Right? Do we understand how exactly business process is being managed here are we not managing a business process here now if i have to also go and see which are how many cases are there tomorrow i want to see how many cases I, I, we have developed as part of this particular workflow i can anytime go to uh, my application and see how many cases were created as part of it right yes or no so if i refresh this this should give me Let me show you that also. You will see how many cases were created as part of this particular workflow. Right? Let me go to... Uh, uh, sorry. Records. Swiggy. Amrut Gobi, right? Recent. See? Am I able to see what uh, whatever uh, previous items we have created here? Where exactly it is? For example, my second order is at the confirm order stage. The order is not completed. The same way, th the first one, it would have reached the delivery stage. See? It has already been delivered. And the status is also, for example, when you try to order something on Amazon, don't you see the status is keep, keep changing? Oh, it has been uh, started from uh, out for shipment and stuff like that, right? Don't we see that? Yeah, we can implement that very easily in a low-code platform like this and transform business applications. Where do we use this tool is across 
all the areas for example if you just look for across every industry where is pega bpm used if you just type this you will see that there is a whole lot of applications who will be using like entire industry from banking everywhere they are using these application th this particular tool and you for your question like uh, pega jobs in india just take that as let's take that as see there are yesterday there were like 10 uh, 10 million results today we have 20 million 22 million results you know just in last 3 days see how many jobs have come in there's a huge huge uh, rush for these jobs there are no candidates available why because no one is no one knows this no one knows uh, how to how this works but this particular firm pega they do offer training and stuff but it's not it's really hard to understand their because it's a, a us based firm and they do next level sort of a training it's not easy to understand you know if i show you uh, see the jobs the jobs are here and Yesterday, the results were this, and today it's 20, 20, 20 million, 22 million results are coming up for just for this thing. And the class schedule for uh, Pega, see, uh, just to offer uh, the basic, uh, the class which we are trying to cover for you, it's 5,400 USD. They do offer, but it's not it's not straightforward. You can't learn from them readily. Why, why do you have to learn from us? Because we are going to give you real real time application, you know, real time projects which you will be building. Why you should learn this is because these many jobs are expected to come to the market. Three lakh jobs are, you know, expected on BPM, on BPM. And this is one of the hottest tool today in market. This is the hottest tool today in market. Why This is why you should be learning, which is built on business process management. Were we not able to build a process across a small business which we saw, were we not able to carve out a process out of it? The business the process and we are able to manage it here business process management is something which you are implementing this is a methodology this is a way in which you should be thinking to build any application as soon as you see application you should be seeing it we saw traditional development and i just had carved out a atm card flow for example to understand a flow you need to know how exactly a flow works which we saw there uh, another example is like atm card flow when you go to atm what do you do you enter a card and a pin you know and then you it's verified if it is match your, pro, your you can do your transaction and you can end it if it doesn't match your tra and transaction ends here do you understand what is a transaction from this flow guys do you understand what is a transaction in any flow for example, when you go to an ATM you, to perform your transaction this step step has to pass successfully right? Only then you will have a successful transaction or you will have a failed transaction, right? If your pin doesn't work or if your card doesn't work, your transaction ends here. But if you're, if that matches and these, this criteria matches, then the process, you process your transaction and it ends here. Yes or no? Perfect. So to understand this, so uh, going further, like we'll be, uh, if this interests you and if you want to like take up this, if you want to have one-on-one -on -one counseling to understand how exactly this helps you, uh, we'll be starting out our classes like uh, in the coming week. If this interests you and you want to uh, take this up seriously and you want to get jobs uh, on this particular platform, which are easy, we'll help you build real-time projects and you can put that on your uh, resume and in your portfolio. We'll help you build your resumes, help you take mock interviews. What is that we are offering is, let me show you. We saw what is low code, what is Pega is something which we'll be seeing later. Okay. So 30 hours of learning content, real time training projects is something which you are offering and industry ready curriculum. Uh, the curriculum is like built so that you can survive and learn what is needed to build real time applications. We'll help you with the official uh, certification guidance as well as mock interviews. Okay. And uh, we'll help you understand every each and piece uh, every piece of this particular tool and you'll be building real-time applications on top of this particular application to real-time projects is something which we are trying to uh, help you build uh, if this interests you you guys should see this is this is my personal number as well as my whatsapp number uh, you can note this down and you can drop me a message or give me a call i'll help you understand if you want to understand how exactly you can carve out your 
uh, career out of this. I can help you understand. And if this interests you, uh, based on uh, how many of guys you, you are enrolling, we can start off the class classes in the coming week. Uh, uh, do you guys have any questions? Did we understand what is business process management? What is low code? What, how software development, traditional software development is done? Are those questions something which, which have been answered today? Did you guys understand that? Right? Okay. Okay. That should be our takeaway from today's class. Nothing, no, no fancy stuff. Just understand that, okay, to build application, these all steps are necessary, but without that, we can also build enterprise application using low code platforms. And one of those platforms is Pega. The same way there are other low code platforms also, but this is really, really hard and jobs are really good. The average salary for a Pega developer is really good. You know, if, you, if there are no people today to hire, you know. Uh, yeah. See, it tells, uh, Ambition Box tells 4.4 lakhs to 9.7 lakhs. I take uh, Glassdoor as a decent reference, which tells like uh, close to seven, uh, 6.5 lakhs per year is something which you can expect of, as soon as you are, uh, you learn this and put this on your portfolio. That is something which is easily something which you can make uh, as a Pega developer. So when you start developing these applications, you will be called a BPM developer or a Pega BPM developer or a Pega developer. That's what you will be called. That's what you'll be called. Why you should be learning from me? I have uh, 14 years of experience, 10 years solid just on Pega. I used to work for Pega Systems and uh, we have carved out so many folks who are from different backgrounds. Do you need to know coding to build this? No, you don't need to know coding. You don't need to know anything about coding to build these applications and you will have a really, really nice career to start with. And there's huge, huge, huge demand uh, for people who know this technology. And we'll be helping you out in building and knowing and understanding this particular tool from scratch to end. End-to-end -end implementation will, is what we'll be teaching you on, on top of this tool. Uh, and if you have any questions, I can I keep this uh, forum open for like five more minutes. Anyone who has questions? Yes, no, no, okay. So any of you guys are interested, uh, you can drop me a note and then we can enroll you to the full-time class which is starting next week. So we can get started from there and we can understand what timing uh, fits you and uh, we can get, get going from there. Is that okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you for making time for the class today. Uh, I hope, I wish, uh, you guys, uh, all of you have my contact number, right? Okay, perfect. If that interests you, you can reach out to me and then we can enter you to the full-time class and we can get started. Thank you. I'll end the session here. Thank you for joining, everyone. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks. thanks.